Have you ever heard the saying, swans sing when they're dying? Quite the poetic thought, isn't it? This notion, often referred to as the swan song, is indeed a myth that has captured the imagination of many. But where did it originate? Well, the term swan song has roots in ancient Greek mythology and literature. It was used to encapsulate a final, beautiful act or performance before death. The Greeks believed that the swan, a creature of such grace and beauty, would sing a hauntingly beautiful song right before its demise, a song more enchanting than any it had sung in its life. This belief has been passed down through generations, and the phrase swan song has become a metaphor for a final, often majestic act or performance. But is there any truth behind this poetic notion? Or is it merely a flight of fancy? To answer this, we need to delve into the world of ornithology, the study of birds. Swans, like many other avian species, are far from being mute creatures. They exhibit a wide array of calls and sounds, from soft cooing to aggressive hissing, each conveying different messages. Indeed, their vocal repertoire is as rich and complex as any symphony. Extensive research has been conducted on swan behavior and communication. Findings reveal that these elegant creatures are quite sociable, using their voices to interact with their kin throughout their lives. From the moment they break free from their eggshells to their twilight years, swans never cease to vocalize their thoughts and feelings. The concept of a swan song, a final melodious farewell before death, doesn't quite align with their observed behavior. Swans, it seems, don't save their voices for their final moments, so it seems that science doesn't support the myth of the swan song, but what could have led to its creation? It's time to separate fact from myth. Firstly, let's consider the human tendency to anthropomorphize animals. We often attribute human traits, emotions, or intentions to non-human entities, which can lead to misconceptions like the swan song. This myth is a perfect example of our human inclination to find deeper meanings and narratives in the natural world around us. Secondly, the swan song myth is often romanticized in literature and art, further embedding it into our collective consciousness. It's a poetic metaphor for a final, beautiful act before one's demise. Let's not forget that this myth has its roots in ancient Greek culture, a civilization known for its rich mythology and storytelling. The actual vocal behavior of swans, as we've discussed, is far from this melodramatic narrative. So while the idea of a swan song is a beautiful one, it's just that, a myth. Remember, truth is often stranger than fiction. If you enjoyed this myth-busting journey, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights.